Welcome back to another Lip Sense Saturday video. Last week I uploaded a video called What is Lip Sense? Which I know a lot of you were asking. But I also thought I would do a What's in Lip Sense? Coming from a sciencey background and actually enjoying the chemistry of things, I thought it was quite interesting when I read the ingredients and what, and what each ingredient does. Because a lot of them have an actual use. I'm losing my voice, can you hear me? Sorry. All the ingredients in Lip Sense have a reason to be there, which I think is quite impressive. But if you ever want to know all the ingredients, you can find them on the site. You can ask me and I can tell you. But I'm just going to go through some of the main ones. And I apologise if you can see a light because I'm looking up on my phone just so I can tell you it right. So there's denatured alcohol in it. This is used as a delivery system. It's also used to create a germ and a bacteria-free environment. It means that nothing can grow inside that. People say that it dries out your lips. It doesn't because as soon as it's on, it evaporates. There's titanium dioxide. Um, titanium dioxide is an inert earth material used for thickening ingredients. It protects the skin from UVA and UVB radiation and is considered to have no risk of skin irritation. Lip sense is classed as a mechanical barrier to the sun. It's not got SPF in it, but because it's there and it stays, sun rays won't get through. It's got mica in it, which gives it its spark and shine. Sparkle and shine, sorry. It's got Isodonis japonicus extract. I'm probably murdering that. But it's a natural flower extract that contains terpenes. It's shown to have medical properties to soothe the skin. It's got St. John's wort. That doesn't sound very good, but wait. It's a natural herb used to elevate and treat, elevate mood and treat depression. It's got a flower extract called Thai... Chili Data Linden. I don't know. I'm rubbish at pronouncing all this. Um, it's a natural flower extract rich in flavonoids and it's a powerful antioxidant. It's got Pionier root extract, which is a natural calming plum flower herb. Like, literally, guys, the list could go on and on, but honestly, there's very few ingredients in it. And I found when I've looked up that a lot of them are good for you. Good for you. A product that is good for you, that lasts all day, that is pigmented, that doesn't transfer, that doesn't move, that you need a special product to take it off because it is so good. That's all I can say. <sighs> if you haven't made up your mind, keep watching these videos. But if you have and you want to purchase some, I'll leave all my links below, but be sure to drop me a message on e and email me to purchase your own today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Gosh, how many times can I say the science side? Ugh. But I'm just going to go through a few of the main ones. I'm just, but I'm just going to go through a few of the main ones. Um, but I'm just going to go through a few of the main ones. Wrong. <laughs>